So this is the trust level intranet site where you can publish news and information to everybody across the trust. And really it's a way that you can make people aware of the vision and the values and the ethos of the trust so everyone feels part of that community. So for example, on this homepage, we've got a welcome from the CEO. We've got some initiatives that we're pushing across the trust like our sustainability. We might have some trust-wide news. So any official trust news I want to publish and have that authoritative feel, I can publish from this page. And even on the individual school home sites, this news will filter down to them. And they'll have that banner across the top to notify them it's official trust level news. And we can summarize that on the trust level page, but it'll also filter down onto those individual school sites. We might publish things that everybody in the trust needs access to, so any of our central services. So it could be things like our sustainability statement, our well-being resources. It could be policies and procedures, HR information. Um, but the idea is you can edit these pages and you can add your own content onto them and personalize them yourselves. And we give you training on how to do that. So it might be the Matt communication person that looks after some of these publishing sites. You may delegate it to different departments within the trust level team as well. So just have a quick look at that. So if we go to the HR site, the Ask HR uh, site, we can see on here we've got welcome from HR, how to contact us. We've got uh, some policies and forms that people can access. We might have some HR level news as well that we want to publish, but we've also got some frequently asked questions. So there's some of these custom web parts that we add in and make available on those sites. But um, if we go to the menu across the top, you can see you've got the trust logo and the trust colors. So you've got your own branding on there. And if we open up the menu, I can only see the sites that I have access to at this trust level. So for everyone, it's going to be slightly different. It's going to be personalized to them. So we've got our central service sites, and this is where we're publishing information, resources from our central services to everybody across the entire trust. So it might just be staff who can access this, or it might be staff and students. So another example of one of those sites might be uh, a staff directory where we need to look up an individual staff member who's based at one of the schools and we can search by their name, by their department, by their location. And this will search across the trust, across the tenant, and it'll just bring me back staff members who that name uh, matches in this case or their location matches. Then I can start a conversation with them. I can send them an email. I can give them a phone call. I can see what we've been working on together, etc. So again, that's all built into this template that we create as standard. So we create all these sites, typical trust level sites as standard. So things like your policies, you meet the trustees, and then we'll give you training on how you can edit these pages and how you can add your own content onto them. Some of the other sites that you might want to create as well is things like your central teams. It's where I've got a team of people working together, maybe across the different schools in the trust, or at a central trust level office, and they need a place where they can collaborate and work together. So again, we can create the, those as teams. So if I go into the coaching strategy team as an example, and again, I can only see that link if I'm in that team. You can see I've got all the different channels within that team that I can jump into. We can personalize this page and add our own content to it as well. But you'll see there's a little Teams icon, and we can switch into the Teams view and we can also do our chat or video calls from within Teams itself. And this is a Teams view of the same site. So you can see in here we've got a conversation thread where we can organize our meetings and we can have our chat inside here, share documents. Um, there's even a staff notebook if you wanted to do your appraisals, your line management, you've got a place to do that where you can set those targets for people. There's also the reflect option in here as well. So you can see, uh, you can just check in with staff and see how they're feeling. Um, and that's all part of the team. But then if I did want to go into any of those SharePoint documents, then of course I can still access it through Teams. But if I need that advanced document management features, then I can always click the open in SharePoint button. And that will take me back into that intranet site 
and uh, in, inside SharePoint, I've got the more advanced document management features like my version history and my recycle bin all built into that. So you can go in either way, either through the SharePoint site or straight through Teams. You've then got your mats wide academic departments and these are ones we can create automatically through your MIS data. So for example, you might have a humanities department in every school in the trust, but actually as a growing trust, you've got a curriculum lead for humanities that looks after all of the schools and wants to instill best practices and drive up quality, share resources. So this is a space where you can get all the humanities teachers together across the entire trust and you can share resources and best practices with them. And you can do that at trust level. If you're a large trust, you might do it at quadrant or region level. Um, but that's a space where you can bring everybody together automatically. So hopefully you can see how you can use the trust level site to bring everybody together in the trust and promote your vision and your values and improve collaboration across the schools in the mat. Obviously you can do this as well at individual schools as well. Um, and that's You can check that out in our other demo videos and how you can use it for teaching and learning as well. And everything we've seen today is available in both SharePoint and Teams. So if you're already using Teams, maybe you've used it throughout the pandemic, then what we can do is we can put a button and pin it for everybody so they can quickly and easily access their intranet. And this could be the trust level intranet or the school level intranet. You could have a button for both on here, one for your trust, one for the school that you're a member of. And you can just make it really quick and easy to access that intranet site for everybody across the entire trust.